Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will be doing the new topic that is the congruent tri triangles. So that is the part one of it. So first thing let us see the introduction of it. So what do you mean by congruence of angles? So here now these are the two angles given. So we say two angles are congruent if they have the same measure. Can you see here also is 45. So this is the measurement or this is ABC. So this is whenever we write angle ABC means we have to look the middle one. So you can see this B is 45 and this is XYZ. So XYZ means this one, the middle one. So this is 45. So we can say they are congruent. Now the congruence of triangles. Now this was for the angles. Now we'll see for the congruence of this triangle. So these are the triangles two given. So two triangles are congruent if all the six pairs of corresponding angles and sides are equal. So now these are the angles, three angles and three sides of a triangle. So we say all the six pairs of corresponding angles and sides are equal. Now suppose we consider this two triangle. This is triangle ABC and this is a triangle XYZ. So we can see this AB is congruent to XY. When we write this, put this one single. So they say this and this side is same. This and this says means this both side are same this one and this one says that these both side are same so we can say ab is congruent to xy then ac is congruent to xz and bc is congruent to yz so now what are the conditions of congruency so there are different congruency sss sas so we are going to see the conditions different conditions now these are the two triangles given so two triangles are congruent for ss means side 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 so two triangles are congruent if the three sides of one triangle are equal to the three corresponding sides of another triangle. So these are two triangles. So these are the sides. So if this and this both are same, this, this both are same and this, this both are same. So we can say these three sides of one triangle are equal to the three corresponding sides of another triangle. So then it is said that is SSS congruence condition. So here now I have written here that is AB is when because this and this is same. So AB is congruent to DE. Then we can see here BC is congruent to EF and AC is congruent to this DF. This is what is written. So we can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by SSS. Hope this is clear. Now for SAS means the side angle side congruence condition. So two triangles are congruent if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two sides and the included angle of another triangle. So these are the two triangles given. So when we say SSS, this is the side, this is the angle and this is the side. So if you say take this one, so side angle and side. So same thing for the other one. So we can see here AB is congruent to PQ. This is one. Then we can say angle B is congruent to angle Q. And side BC is congruent to QR. This is given over here. So we can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle this PQR. Now ASA, that is angle side angle. Means there will be two angles in one side. So two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two angles and the included side of another triangle. So now can you see these are the two angles and in between there is a side. So we can say angle side angle. Same thing for the, this is the same one. So we can say angle B is congruent to angle Y. Then BC is congruent to YZ. And angle C is congruent to angle Z. So we can say here angle ABC is congruent to XYZ. So it will be what is, is going to be angle side angle so asa and this one then rhs so that is the right that will be right triangle so this will be we can say two right triangles are congruent if the length of the hypotenuse and one side of the triangle are respectively equal to the length of the hypotenuse and one side of another triangle so now you know this is a triangle so this is the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse means how can you say that that is a hypotenuse? Now this is 90 degree. Always in the right angle, this is going to be 90 degree. So side opposite, if you go like this, this is the opposite. 
side opposite to 90 degree is the hypotenuse same over here this both are the same so this is the hypotenuse so now what you can say the hypotenuse if the length of the hypotenuse in one side of a triangle are respectively equal so this is the other side they are equal so this hypotenuse and this side are equal then it is said that is the RHS congruence that is the condition so now you can see these both are equal and this is equal so we can say that and this is angle E is equal to angle Q and which is 90 degree so this is written here and then we can say that DF is congruent to PR and EF is congruent to QR so we can say triangle DF is congruent to triangle PQR by RHS so now we will see the exercise fill in the blanks two angles are congruent means we we have seen in the now explanation in the introduction the two angles when they are congruent if they have the same measure then two rectangles are congruent when when will be the two rectangles be congruent when the length and breadth are equal so this will be the length this will be equal to this one and this is going to be this one so the rectangles they are equal two objects are congruent if they have the same size and shape so now if there is one rectangle and the other is a circle so that is not because the shape also should be same and the size if of course this is of this size and other thing also should be even if this is a rectangle it should also be of the same size that is also important so size and shape is important now circle one c1 there is congruent to circle c2 if the radius of c1 is 3 then the diameter of c2 means because both are equal so now radius you know from here to here this is the radius so this is 3 centimeter so diameter is going to be twice of it because even the diameter passes to the center but that is the radius is only half means the diameter is going to be twice of it so 3 into this is radius is 3 so the diameter is going to 3 into 2 because it is a double of it so that should be 6 centimeter if two or uh, this line segments are congruent to each other that is AB is congruent to CD and AB is given this as 7 so half of CD means because now CD also is going to be 7 but then what will be then half of CD will be how much so half into this because CD also will be 7 when we multiply this one so this is going to be 3.5 and that is given in centimeter so 3.5 centimeter find the equal sides and angle and equal angles in the corresponding pairs of triangles and give reasons to justify your answer and determine the correspondence between the two triangles which gives a congruence so the, these two triangles have been given we have to find the equal sides so here what we can see it's given this also are given so now can you see this is here so we can say de because this is true so that will be equal here is here given here so that is equal to q1 you, can, you have to write this one because the sides then what we can say this and this one this single and this one so we can say or we can also go this way anyways you can go we can go this way so now we finish with this one so now we can see a df and we can see pr so because this all they are this both sides means it we say when we because this is drawn this like this three line so we can say these both sides are equal so we can say df is equal to pr this is, this is the second one and then we'll go for this one ef and this qr so oh sorry not qr this ef and this is single right this is a single one so that is this and this one so that will be ef or fe we can go anyways we can go because we are going like this we can also go for fe so now this is going to be that will be if we go this way so this is going to be pq so we can say f is equal to pq this is for sides now let us see for the angles angles what we can see this and this is given so we can say angle e is equal to angle q so that is given over here and then we have to write it here that means and here angle d is equal to your angle r so we have to write angle d is equal to angle r so what happens here now these both are same so that means these also should be equal to this one since this both angles are same in this triangle so this angle should be equal to this one so what we can say angle f is equal to angle angle f is equal to angle p so because that is the angle sum property of a triangle so we can say therefore the correspondence edf so you can see here 
E, D and F is congruent to this one that is QRP. So this is QRP. This bit. Why we did like this? Because you can see E, D, F. So this is two sides. So this also is two sides. So we had to start from this one. E, R. Q, R, P. From Q. And not from Q, P, and R. Okay? Because this both are just two lines. Means this is equal to this one. So you have to go this way. And this you have to go this way. So this is clear. That gives a congruence. Now the next one here we have to see. So now what we can just say here. Uh, this is 3 cm and this also is 3 cm. That means AB is equal to EF. Then what we can see here. This is three, uh, this one 3.3 .3, and this is 3.3. .3, that will be BC is equal to. This one will be FD. And then we can see here that is CA because this is 4. And this is for D. This is also 4. So we can say C is equal to D. And here it's given here. This is 55. And here is this is 55. So we can say angle A is equal to angle E. That is 55 degree. And then we can see here angle C is equal to angle that is D. That is 45 degree. So now we know this is 45 and this is uh, sorry this is 55 and this is 45 and this is a triangle. So you know angle some property that is it should be 180. So you, what will be that? 55 degree plus 45 degree plus the third one we don't know. Let us take this at x and here is b or we can also put b. That is 180. So this is going to be 100 plus x is going to be 180. So x is going to be 180 and this goes there means it is going to get minus 100. So that is x is going to be 80. So this third angle that is b should be 100. So if oh sorry, this will be 80. If this is B is 80, so then this F also should, should be 80. So we can say angle B is equal to angle F is equal to 80. Hope this part is clear. So therefore, the corresponding that is this one, angle triangle ABC. See now ABC, we are starting from 55. So this you have to go from this one. So that should be EF. So that will be EFT. Hope this is clear how that goes on. 55 and then this is 100 and this is 45. So 55 then this 100 and this 45 should go this way. So that is EFT. Gives a congruence. Study the following figure and state which of the following statements are true. Now this is actually a bit color. This one tricky. Now see here. Uh, these are given. So triangle PQR is equal to congruent to this whenever we write equal and put it like this that says that it is congruent to triangle xyz then triangle pqr is congruent to triangle zyx and pqr is congruent to triangle yxz so which of them is true so now let us go for the first pqr pqr so now you can see here is nothing but here is 100 and here is 38 xyz if you are going for xyz but then what we can see, this comes 38 and then 100. So here, when we were going from PQR, here we didn't knew this angle. Only uh, then later on, on the R, that, that was 38. So and here it's starting, this is 38. So definitely this cannot be. Then we, if you are going for PQR and Z, Y, X, Z, Y, and X. So now you can see this is, we don't know this, this is unknown. So same as P. And then you know why, and here you knew this one. So this both matches, and again this both matches. So it should be Z, Y, and X. So see how it is. It looks quite similar. So this should be the correct option. So the I have picked with the white one. So that is the correct option. Complete the following table. Now this you have there written here. This whatever written with white is the answer. Congruent triangles corresponding y uh, this one uh, congruent triangles and corresponding congruent sides. So this is already all given. Only written with y is the answer. So now we can see these two triangles are given. That is triangle ABC and triangle PQR. So now what you can see triangle A, this angle A is equal to angle P. Angle A is equal to angle P. So now what will you do when this is same means B should be equal to angle Q. So then C should be equal to angle R. So, hope you got this answer. Now we will see for the sides. 
Now what they, here they said AB is equal to PQ that is already given. So now the second thing is going to be what BC will be equal to QR. And the third one what it can be CA you will go backwards and here will be P uh, the RP. Hope this part also is clear. So now here again now we'll do this we'll follow the same method what was done in the first one. So now you can write here angle A is equal to angle R, angle B is equal to angle P, and angle C is equal to angle Q. So this is written here. Now we will go for the sides. AB is equal to RP. This is here. Then what will you do? BC is equal to PQ. This is here. And the third one, what will you do? You will go backwards. CA is equal to QR. It's congruent to QR. Hmm? So this also is done. Now we will see for this one. A and Q. Angle A is equal to angle Q. Here written. B is equal to R. Angle R. Written here. C is equal to angle P. Written over here. Then we'll see for the sides. AB is equal to QR. Written over here. Then BC is equal to uh, RP. Written here. Then you'll go backwards. CA is equal to PQ. So here. So this table is done. If for triangle ABC and triangle DEF, the corresponding that is the corresponding means CAB is similar to this one, EDF gives a congruence. Then which of the following statements are true? Now, see here before that, before this is all given, and we have to mark from that which are true. So now we can draw this one as roughly I have drawn over here. This is not given in the question, but I have just drawn it for the explanation. Now, here they said here CAB. If we go here, C, A, B. So we'll start from here. That will be, we'll go like this. And this one, C, A, B. And so since we went from here, this also should be the same, E, D, F. So this also we have to start from E. And we'll go like this because it's, again, I'll repeat it. Because they said C, A, B. C means we'll start from this C. We'll go here, here, and here. So here, then here, and here. So we are starting from CA, this we go to CA, then AB and this one. So this also, because it's EDF, we'll start from your E, then here, then from here you will go here, and here you will go here. So now you have to see on the based on this one, this, uh, the, these two triangles, we can see that angle A, this is equal to angle D. So this satisfies. So I've put it with a white one. Then what you can see, angle B, if this is B and this also is, this is F. So it satisfies, this satisfies. And then we can say from this one, AB, this AB is equal to this DF. So this satisfies. And then we can see that is AC is equal to this D. So you can check with letter with this one. So rest of them doesn't satisfy. So we can say this whatever put, put, put a white one. So these all are correct. The rest you can just check which are not ticked. You can have a look at it. So they are not correct. So by this one we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.